today i will be discussing a very rare case of unilateral proptosis uh, which presented to armed forces institute of ophthalmology a female of 59 year of age resident of attack presented with a complaint of painful reduced vision in her right eye which was progressive in nature and associated with severe pricking pain that progressed with ocular movements patient had generalized orbital swelling involving upper eyelid and there was no associated discharge painful sudden reduced vision was accompanied by temporal headache not radiating in nature and was aggravated by sitting and doing work and and didn't get relieved with use of painkiller medications and it was effectively affecting the daily routine activities of the patient patient was known case of diabetes from last 20 years and newly diagnosed with hypertension there was no history of lotus flashes of light ocular discharge any head or neck trauma sinus infection or ocular surgery patient personal surgical family and drug history was unremarkable and socio economic condition was satisfactory on general physical examination a 59 year old female was sitting comfortably with vital signs and there was uh, systemic examination was unremarkable her visual acuity in right eye was 6 by 12 which did not improve to pinhole vision and there was a restricted elevation of the extraocular movement in the right eye while the visual acuity in left eye was 6 by 6 and all the other uh, findings were within normal limit intraocular pressure measured with a goldman epilepsy tonometer was 26 mm of mercury in right eye while 16 in left eye there was a proptosis of 24 mm in the right eye which was measured with a hartel exophthalmometer swelling was noted in the upper eyelid and there was moderate proptosis in the right eye and in the infratemporal region of the right eye there were dilated episcleral vessels noted in the conjunctiva while the rest of the anterior and posterior examination of the right and left eye were unremarkable baseline investigations were within normal limit except of the hba1c which showed 7.9 mg per deciliter oct angiogram was advised which also was within the normal limit ct angio of the brain and orbit was uh, advised which showed that in the late arterial phase there was fusiform dilatation of the right superior ophthalmic vein with maximum diameter of 14 mm and there is slight widening of the optic canal on right side at the level of ethmoid sinuses superior ophthalmic vein will appears to be dilated and tortuous up to 4.6 mm in di- uh, diameter axial slice shows mild proptosis of the right eye from anterior margin of the sclera from zygomatic line measuring up to 28 mm so on the basis of history examination and investigation a differential diagnosis of arteriovenous malformations arteriovenous fistula cavernous hemangioma carotid cavernous fistula and lymphangioma were made mri brain was also advised which showed axial slices t1 post contrast in which superior ophthalmic vein to be asymmetrically dilated especially involving its mid and distal part having a segment length of 4.2 cm with a maximum dimension along the posterior aspect of the globe showing contrast opacification on t2 weighted image there is iso to hyper intense signal of the mass so on the basis of history examination and investigation an orbital arteriovenous fistula in the right eye was established as soon as the diagnosis diagnosis was established patient was referred to interventional radiology department armed forces institute of radiology for further management they decided to put foils along with onyx to treat the leakage point of arteriovenous fistula ultrasound guided right angular vein of the face assist with micropuncture kit needle and fr sheet of micropuncture kit needle multiple tortuous feeding vessels originated from the right ophthalmic artery opening into the proximal ectectic dilatic superior ophthalmic vein suggestive of the right orbital avf supplied by the right ophthalmic artery and drained by proximal ectectic superior ophthalmic vein 
so in the intravenous coiling of fistula first there is a recanalization of superior ophthalmic vein then coils are used with onyx to embolize the fistula embolization with six coils was done this is the post coiling picture onyx 34 was then injected into the coil mass to seal the fistula point non adhesive liquid embolic agent were used this is the picture of on the left side there is a pre coiling picture which shows the dilatation and on the right side post coiling picture which shows the healing phase patient was discharged on this treatment neuro monitoring ophthalmological review every 6 hourly iv antibiotics and oral steroid short course this is the picture before after 2 days and after 2 weeks Thank you.